Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. So today we want to look at the common issue with Nox3 and Docker, and that is when you're trying to assess the environment variables in production. If you've ever encountered this issue with product process.env not working as expected, this tutorial is for you. All right, so the problem, what exactly is the problem? When deploying your Nox3 applications in Docker, you might notice that the environment variables aren't accessible in production, even though they work fine in development. But it so happens that the variables, the environment variables in production, they don't work as expected. So this happens because Nox3 handles the environment variables differently at build time versus runtime. All right, so here I have a Nox3 app and let me do this. So you have your runtime config like so. And in your runtime config, of course you have the public and then the private. Okay, so you do public for example. All right, and let's say we want to do um, API base sort of, or yeah, API base, and we do this. So typically you do something like this, like this, where you have your process dot env dot API base, like so, and then you have like a default um, route or link in case this is not available, then this should suffice. Okay, but with this approach that I want to show you now, you don't really need the process dot env. All right, so we're going to take this out. So what you simply need to do is you need to set, for example, I'm doing API. I typically like to do something like this: API under API underscore base, like so, right? And then you want to prefix this something like this. You want to prefix it with this. You want to prefix it with nox underscore public, all right? Something like this. So this is what you will be sending, or this is what you will be. Um, this is what you are going to give. For example, maybe you work in a, a very big organization, and you have each of these roles have been, you know, compartmentalized. Then you have the DevOps and all of that. So this is what you're going to give to the DevOps DevOps engineer like Nox public API base. So you want to prefix your API base with this. All right, this is important. Um, it is necessary. You have to prefix it with Nox public, then underscore API base. And it's okay, this is my environment variable for whatever case it may be. So why does this work? Um, so you think of build time versus runtime. The Nox config.cs is processed at build time and the environment variables are injected at runtime. So the Nox prefix tells the framework to handle this variable variables specially. All right. So the Nox here is the framework, let's call this identifier. Okay. While the public uh, indicates the placements. Right, so we say the placement in the runtime config dot public. All right, so this is public here, and this is the runtime config public, and then the value itself, which is this guy, the API base. Um, anything you put here, let's say you do API base, it you know converts to you know API base um, the come out case. If you have some, if like if you have like a come out case in here. Um, it automatically converts it to this here. Okay. Um, so the environment variables are converted into static assets. This enables Docker containers to access them properly. Okay. And the values are injected when the container starts and not during build. So you don't need your process.env here. Uh, process.env. You don't. You don't need that. Okay. You just need to, you know have the prefix the nox public prefix you need to have it and you can just share this with the devil's engineer and then when you come here just add this there's no need to add 
Nox public base. You don't do this here. You, there's no need to add Nox public underscore API base here. You don't need to do that. This is what you'll be sending to, and um, this is what you'll be adding in the container, right? And all you need to do here is just have this. But then in the container, you can just signify this. That's just it for this tutorial. So understanding how Nox3 handles these environment variables um, at build time versus runtime is crucial for you know Docker deployment. And sometimes the variables are available in the port in the container, but your application is not able to retrieve it, and that's because your variable is missing the Nox underscore public prefix. If it is public, you put it there. If it's private, you indicate as well if you've learned something valuable in this tutorial make sure you like and subscribe for more next deployment tutorials and also angular tutorials as well like this video share with your friends share with your friends and developers of course and also those who would like to get into um well, i'm talking too much just like and like and subscribe yeah bye for now